Dear friends, recently we came across an article on page 163 of China that published an article with the title, America is engaged in a Sino-American war, once the war begins, Jun Jia the people's journalists can fight a big battle, and now let's learn about the content of the article in this video, as the game between China and the United States enters a white-hot stage. Any slight disturbance will arouse strong concern from all parties. Especially as the United States continues to build momentum, stir up trouble at China's doorstep, and hype that China and the United States must have a war, more and more people are wondering, is the United States really preparing to go to war with China? How should China prepare? Recently, two pieces of news from the Biden administration have once again revealed signs of war that have to arouse our vigilance. The first is that the United States blatantly violated the consensus reached at the San Francisco meeting between the heads of state of China and the United States and signed a National Defense Authorization Bill for fiscal year 2024. It contains strong hostility towards China and not only emphasizes military deployment in the Indo-Pacific region as a U.S. defense goal. It also directly states that the United States will continue to support Taiwan in developing necessary defense capabilities immediately after China responded to the U.S. defense bill. Second news came from the United States, showing that the U.S. Air Force was reactivating the World War II B-29 base, speaking of this base, many people may not be familiar with it. After all, even the U.S. military has not used it for a while. When this base was used by the U.S. military, it was used to take off B-29 bombers and drop atomic bombs on Japan. The specific location is on Tinian Island, which is 160 kilometers northeast of Guam in the Western Pacific. At this node, this base is reactivated, and where this cannon is aimed, we don't need to say more. As for why we chose to restart this B-29 base, a big reason is that it can help the U.S. military disperse the deployment of aircraft. In their own words, at present, the People's Liberation Army's missiles can already cover the main U.S. bases in the Western Pacific. Therefore, it is necessary for the U.S. military to open some new maps to prepare for the dispersed deployment of military strike forces in wartime. It is obvious that the United States, which is obsessed with instigating a China-U.S. war, wants to start with the Taiwan issue to suppress China's rise. Of course, the Taiwan issue is just an excuse for the United States to provoke war. Including Taiwan, the United States is actually building three Ukraines to deal with China. In addition to encouraging the Taiwan authorities to reject reunification with force, the United States also found two thugs at our doorstep, one from Japan and the other from the Philippines. Let's talk about Japan first. During this period, Japan first went to Southeast Asia to sell weapons and equipment under the banner of the OSA mechanism. Subsequently, a new version of the so-called Three Principles for the Transfer of Defense Equipment was reviewed and approved, and the Patriot missiles were returned to the United States. One of the possible uses of the United States after obtaining this batch of missiles is to repurchase this batch of air defense missiles. The missiles were sold to the Taiwan authorities. If the Taiwan authorities and Japan are still cooperating with the United States in making some preparations, then let's look at the Philippines, which is already ahead of the curve and wants to compete with the People's Liberation Army. Recently, China and the Philippines have had several confrontations over the South China Sea issue. Whether it was actions near Rene I Reef or communication and dialogue at the diplomatic level, the Philippines has not gained anything good. Under such circumstances, Philippine President Marcos also recently stated that the Philippines intends to resolve the second Thomas Shoal issue on its own, however, as soon as he finished speaking, the spokesperson of the U.S. Department of Defense said, the United States is unswerving in its commitment to implement the mutual defense treaty between the United States and the Philippines. The Philippines was shocked again, and it directly stated that it was considering building a permanent island on Rene I Reef. Sexual architecture, it seems that one cannot shed tears without seeing the coffin, we have said so much and the signal is very clear. The Taiwan authorities, Japan, and the Philippines seem to have different issues, but objectively they have formed a front. It depends on when the United States dares to go to war with China. Regarding the various actions of the United States, 
whether it is preparing for combat or bluffing, China has prepared for the worst. As the great man said, strategically despise the enemy and tactically value the enemy. Once the war starts, the People's Liberation Army can have a big fight and teach the US military how to behave. Our video ends here, remember to subscribe so we can meet again in the next video, goodbye everyone.